Okay, what are we looking for? Two guys. Homicide guys are already inside. Yeah. Morphine overdose. Kowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Hello, Jason. Ah, life is okay. Connections always mess everything up. We have a presidential one next Sunday. Okay, let's see. Well, that doesn't look like an order. Oh, a dozen rounds into it. <laughs> Certainly sends a message. Which means this guy is stole from the Jews. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Uh, how is uh, Stephanie doing? Hopefully alright. What are you doing, Roy, you fucking moron? That is. Ah, whatever. He said the morphine was by the band stand. Ah, there it is. Circumstantial evidence, that's it. Let's see what's out here. More dead guys. This must be a marine. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. open but why they didn't take the money because they were not looking for money or maybe it is traceable okay let's look at the band standing at all our musician <laughs> look at that face left in circulation. A lost Odyssey, huh? Isn't that some sort of console? PS something game? Maybe PS4? No, no, no PS2? PS4. Let's leave that for last. 
Xbox 360, huh? I almost asso associate by default JRPGs with Army surplus again. PS. Goldberg must have been moving contraband through the club. All right. Dozen packs to a carton. Hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. Army surplus cigarettes. These look brand new. Never fired. Haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. This guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. So it's the original creators, huh? If I understand it correctly, just like most other series, Final Fantasy oh, became custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Uh, became more action-oriented somehow. Well, JRPGs are turn-based. What's that click? Maybe more flashing. Ah, clicks, huh? There is an order to open this. How will I? Okay. Need a trick? The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Interesting. Follow up on the musician angle. Kept his stash close at hand. report when it's ready. Ah, right shit. now you want to be examining evidence. The witness. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative vice squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? 
Yes, he took money from the mob. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Who cares? Ah, okay. Now I see. The fighting has remained more or less the same. It's the exploration and the presentation of the story. How well did you know the owner? Vulgar? Well Shit. enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone <laughs> filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. What I was saying is that the new game looks exactly like Mass Effect. Uh, I don't remember how it's called. Maybe it's Final Fantasy XV, something like that. Well, this is big news. What the hell is going on? Hey, what's going on? That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Whores have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. And we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Who is a stoker? Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robber detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Corridge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. I have no idea who the hell is a stoker. Eric, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Jack kills, okay. Sheldon Courtney, I know those names. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. This is the crate we recovered. What is it I'm looking for there? I think we bust in there and find the goddamn thing. Ah, 
this is okay. The manifesto of people and the goods. Enough to arm three companies. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. But Goldrick. The Goldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. Uh, it's true, oh, it's true. Currently has stolen everything now, I remember. Well, I uh, have connected the dots, but this guy doesn't know films. But I saw a video where some sort of Final Fantasy played exactly like Mass Effect. It was... Uh, an apartment building and the guy was taking cover, shooting guns, all action, real time action. But maybe I'm mistaken, maybe it's an old game. So, half your old lackeys were on that boat. The late Mr. Goldrick included. They weren't my lackeys. Subordinates, then, whatever you want to call them. There were a lot of people on that boat. Maybe you're behind this whole thing, Phelps. Wouldn't <laughs> that be a master stroke? Hey, cut me in early and we'll ride this one into the sunset. Sounds like you've got the case all sewn up, Roy. We should call it a day and go home. And miss out on the blue room? I couldn't do that to you. I guess this is practice. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bow. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries, Undustum Fuhrer? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Okay. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me. Or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you, he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. No, I would say white man supplies, black man delivers, white man and black man consumes. That's how I see it. Uh, at, at least that's how it's been going on. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, they have any clues here? I don't believe you. You knew these men. And how would you like to prove that, detective? It better be. You're out of your depth, <laughs> detective. And you're asking the wrong questions of the wrong people. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words and very noble. But words are just words. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. What? Become a stalker. One thing I did see from the move in. Yeah, risk losing the trail. From the trailer or a sneak peek was any adoption of too much slack. Gotta get closer. Dialogue options. Move in. The risk of the trail. But, uh, okay. Rears its ugly head, doesn't it? And here it's like he loves blood. Oh, she's a dirty blonde, a dirty German, a dirty communist German.
Okay. I guess I was being tailed as well. <laughs> for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. He's only you a writer. He's there, no one you're being watched. Find a safe. That's what I assume all the time. Boy, I stake it's in better days. There LAPD. Is. We have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. <laughs> He's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Find a state. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. <laughs> He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was at Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? <laughs> something to discuss, Roy? Are you gonna stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? <laughs> ah, these guys are awesome. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. Okay. What is your favorite color? We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, I should have something. Fuck. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But, uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the frighten that easy. We'll see. Detectives! KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Okay. Seems like a northern transition, but whatever. Every movie has its blood holes.
was some 50 caliber guns. Some knife. <laughs> Was scary enough. What was his purpose? Phone number and restaurant table. going to kill Mickey D I'm guessing or he was working for him one of two really He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. 
So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the market. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. <laughs> Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. This is KTI Radio. Ah, this is shit, public I service to them. Oh. Let's go, Roy. Game well. Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Really? Just a second. Thanks. I wonder what Kelso did. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Maybe he embarrassed Felt somehow. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. We're going to get shot, aren't we? Cut the crap. Pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Maybe not. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Jack, you know about the morphine. You weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. <laughs> this is going nowhere. <laughs> 
Let's go with this. I'm done uh, with this. <laughs> All right. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Then you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night. No, I didn't. Okay. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Fuck. You know Goldrick had three of them. The goddamn fool. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Rich Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, I just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm gonna be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Judy, Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is the Chris Majoski. Another name from the manifest? Well, Mickey moves fast. How many of my friends of yours are gonna get plugged in? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up a damn thing. Newspaper. It looks so peaceful. Shh. All right. An LAPD 
profile. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Nice. Yeah, if you hit them one by one, then they will find out and run for it. Or organize. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. But if you whack them all quickly, they won't know it's coming. And then, the mobster can pressure Sheldon. Now that he doesn't have his we need to get those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Made in the USA. Okay, let's see what this guy... Ah, uh, let's look at the freaking... Stoker, tell all, make us jobs at the city hall. Major district attorney declined to comment. Let's see. We what have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Coral? Name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. What would he want? I didn't remember that particular detail in the storyline. Okay, let's move. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does I get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. By someone, he means Sheldon. Okay, I think we are in a hurry. Off the 
Don't try for the tires. Keep your foot down. So many glitches. <laughs> Am I okay? Next victim. I don't know. Up they did. <laughs> Coroner says it's gonna take at least a week to get an ID. Ah, he's on. <laughs> Tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a trip. What the hell is he talking about? the word of a dead man is not going to polar bear ice company really did it wonder what the report is. most people never get the chance to be rich wouldn't you risk it <laughs> I might What were they doing? That's the question. Why were they here? Maybe the morphine is in here? finish this particular case. Did 
Juicy, Beckett, Oldrick, Driscoll. These are good guys. They're wrapped up in this thing. Not everyone has their unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. <laughs> that guy's such an asshole. Yeah, you're doing well. Nice to hear it. Always happy. Ooh, what's here? Uh, more dead guys. Why not? Uh, turns out he's not important. Why were they here? It's a question. That will never get answered. I don't see any way to find out. Okay, let's go to a big meeting. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All kinds of point of way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. That's a good idea. <laughs> Stay in cover. Shit. Sons of bitches on that. KBL to Car 11 K. <laughs> Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a Roger. Car 11 King en route. Ah, uh, what the basic thing. 
KTI features the best live programming and transcribed shows. KTI 760. Friends, what's the secret soap that the most lovely Hollywood stars use to preserve daintiness? Pandora brand toilet soap. The complexion soap. Gentle white and so fragrant. It's perfect for a daily beauty bath. Leaves stay Fuck. Yeah, Roy Bullet the Sponge. What is his last name? the car police you can't do this See what Mr. Sheldon Isles wants. Legalize. No, he wants to prohibit gambling online. Roy, in my office if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. I was door knocking all morning. Well, I'm guessing it's a conspiracy to take me out. Sheldon, is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the cool ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon no, is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're lying, Corey. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Well, they have a confession, supposedly. Jack is Fuck! Jack None of us were. We just followed your orders. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Okay, I'm going to use the note this time. Fuck! Have we finished here, Cole? <laughs> have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. I agree. What's your offer? <laughs> Doctor. Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. You certainly had a 
Jealous fool, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. Hand over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, right? Here. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> what the hell was he thinking when he fucked horse? And it's not uh, what knows what else. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girl. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Okay. I wonder if we find out what Roy got out of this. Is she going to take me? going to say distinguished demote <laughs> okay despite mob wars and an unsolved robbery one story will dominate the newsprint my actions have earned me a demotion prepare for reassignment Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you tomorrow when we go to the arson desk and face our demons. Till then, long live the LAPD. <laughs> Goodbye.